Hey guys, Alex here, creator of the Crawford app, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's workout is a leg day on the sofa. And you don't need to use a sofa, you can use a chair, a stool, or if you're out in the park, use a bench, anything you like. But all you need is your own body weight to do this to really get the legs working. If you want to make it even harder, you can use a backpack full of weights or even holding weights if you like. But I think just body weight is going to do. We're going to work for 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, of five different exercises for the legs. Let's get into it. We're going to start with a squat. Three, two, one, let's go. Squatting down, touching your bum onto the sofa. The lower the sofa, the harder it's gonna be. You can see here, I'm just tapping my bum on the sofa, which is a little bit harder. If you're a beginner, you can sit, rest, and stand. Sit, rest, and stand. Otherwise, just tap and stand. Stand up tall, squeeze the glutes. Core in, chest up, making sure your knees stay out wide and not too far forwards over the toes. Rest for 20 seconds. Moving into a split squat position. One leg comes forwards, one foot balances on the back. Shuffle forwards, making sure your ankle, knee and hips are all aligned. Chest up, two, one, down and up. Your back foot, if you're on a sofa, can be the back of your foot resting. If you're on a stool or a chair with trainers, you can tuck the toes under. Make sure that your knee doesn't pass too far forwards over the toes. You keep your knee over your heel. Squeeze the glutes at the back. Go down however low feels comfortable for you. This one is great really working all over the lower body, but especially the glutes, the hamstrings and quads. Rest for 20 seconds. Same on the other side. Shake it off. Get into position, and let's go. 40 more seconds. Same on the other side. Really think about these glutes working to push up. Don't focus too much on these muscles. I want this to be the primary, and these the secondary. That will take the stress out of the knee, and more on these big muscles of the back. Slowly down, control, push up, and then fully extend the legs. Keep this foot flat on the floor, push through the heels and the toes. Rest, shake it off, come down onto the floor. So we're going into a bridge. Feet flat on the floor, hands above the head. We're lifting our bum off the floor. Push your heels into the floor. Let's go, bridge. This one focuses on the posterior chain. When I say posterior chain, we're talking hamstrings, glutes, lower back. Stomach in, core engaged. Protect that back, but feel it working in a good way. Squeeze the hamstrings to lift the hips up high. Rest there, 20 seconds. Final exercise, let's isolate the calves and get those working, strengthening and toning in a simple calf raise. You can do this without holding on, or you can hold onto the wall or the sofa, up to you, get the balance. We're just lifting up the heels. Get ready. Let's go. Of course, if you have a step or something a little bit higher, you can drop your heels off the floor. Otherwise, you'll still feel this working a lot. Push the toes into the floor. 
have a slight pause and squeeze at the top. Don't rest at the bottom. Keep pushing. Okay, rest there, well done. So that is one round of that workout. I recommend three, four, or even five sets of that workout. All you need to do is do that yourself or go back to the beginning of this video and do it again with me. So I hope you really enjoyed that. This, this is a workout that you can do on the sofa, in the park, anywhere at home. Make sure you share it to your friends. If you've got any friends at home that will really want to get training that aren't going to the gym. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.